every working day, more than 50,000 employees across Germany make their way to work at BASF. This figure represents roughly half of all BASF staff around the world, with the majority working at our headquarters in Ludwigshafen. So in this video, we are going to tell you about one German chemical plant can bring Europe to its breaking point. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. BASF is the world's leading chemical company headquartered in Germany. Its portfolio is organized into six segments, chemicals, materials, industrial solutions, surface technologies, nutrition and care, and agricultural solutions. The chemical segment consists of the petrochemicals and intermediates divisions. In our integrated production facilities, our Verbund, we produce a broad range of basic chemicals and intermediates in Europe, Asia, and North and South America. The segment materials consists of the performance materials and monomers divisions. The industrial solution segment covers the business of dispersions and pigments, as well as performance chemicals. The segment surface technologies comprises the catalysts, coatings, and construction chemicals divisions. They develop and market system solutions, services, and innovative products, particularly for the automotive, electronic, chemical, and construction industries, as well as for household applications, sports, and leisure. The segment Nutrition and Care covers the division's care chemicals and nutrition and health. The Agricultural Solutions segment also includes crop protection. We develop and produce innovative solutions for the improvement of crop health and yields and market them worldwide. The chemical industry plays a vital role in the world's economy. By converting raw materials such as water, minerals, fossil fuels, and metals into hundreds of thousands of different products, the industry makes life as we know it possible. Not surprisingly, the chemical sector's income is astronomical. In 2020, it reached nearly $3,818 billion, supplying basic chemicals, pharmaceuticals, specialties, agricultural chemicals, and consumer products to companies and consumers all around the world. BASF's Ludwig Schaffen site covers approximately 10 square kilometers and is the world's largest integrated chemical complex. There are about 200 production plants on the site manufacturing thousands of different products. It is also home to the company's headquarters. As such, it exemplifies the company's Verbund concept, where manufacturing facilities, energy flows, and logistics are in the same place, linked together so that resources are used as efficiently as possible. BASF YPC Co. is a joint venture between BASF and Sinopec that was founded in 2000. The integrated petrochemical site, worth a $5.5 billion investment, produces approximately 3 million tons of polymers and other chemicals every year. There are also acrylic acid, superabsorbent polymer, butyl acrylate, and neopentylglycol, NPG, production facilities on site. As of 2020, ethylene accounted for the largest share of chemicals produced on site, 16.2%, 0.74 MITPA. Everything is connected at the German chemical firm, BASS Ludwig Schaffen site, a 10 Skekum industrial complex so sprawling that the company runs its own bus network to usher employees from its gates to their workplace. Byproducts from making ammonia, for example, are funneled through a 1,771 mile, 2,850 kilometers pipeline network from one end of the site to another, where they are recycled to produce fertilizer, disinfectant, diesel exhaust fluid, or carbon dioxide for fizzy drinks. The so-called Verband, composite, principle has been key to BASF's 157-year rise from Baden Aniline and Soda Factory to the world's largest chemical manufacturer. Now, as Vladimir Putin has severely restricted energy exports to Europe, that ingenious interconnectivity could be its undoing. The site in southwest Germany is reliant on gas as a raw material and an energy source, consuming roughly as much each year as the whole of Switzerland, and BASF played an active role in ensuring a large proportion of that gas was cheaply imported from Russia. Should the German state be forced to ration gas for industrial use this winter, BASF says it can reduce its consumption to a degree by throttling individual plants or swapping gas for fuel oil at some production stages. It has already lowered its on-site production of ammonia, instead shipping in the chemical from abroad. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.